this is an introduction to line for beginners on doing a mix. Put your mixer on, make sure you've got gloves, make sure you've got eye protection, make sure you've got a mask. Just the mask for when you're doing the mix. probably notice I did a two sand and there's a one line there this is going to be a one one three mix I want the line to mix with the two buckets of sand first so I get a consistent mix uh, when I put the lime in you'll notice I stood sideways on the cement mixer or lime mixer I don't actually use cement um, there's no cement whatsoever in this mix, it's just a one lime, three sand, and this is a brown, gritty sand. It'll go a digestive biscuit colour when it calcifies. After, after it goes in, after about six weeks, it'll start changing colour, and it'll go to the sand colour. So, this mix will take about 20 minutes to do. So, you want it dry, mixing for about 10 minutes. Uh, after I've put the third bucket of um, grit sand in, what I'll do is I'll pause the video while it's mixing and before I add the water, I'll show you what I do uh, if I was a beginner and you don't know how to gauge the water to the sand content. So I'll show you an easy way of doing it. What you don't want to do is stick your hand in the mixer. Switch your mixer off. Protection. Make sure there's no sand stuck to the back. Then turn it over again. Watch no powder pops out, so just turn away. So that's a pretty consistent mix now. I can't see any of the brown sand because the line's mixing with it. I'll put the third bucket in. So just check your mix every so often, make sure there's nothing sticking. Turn again. 
Make sure you got your gloves on. Make sure nothing's sticking out the back. Make sure nothing pops out. So what you want to do now is while this is mixing it's gonna take 10 minutes of this and 10 to 15 minutes when it's uh, I've put water to it so you want to be doing your other stuff like setting up the area that you're going to be working in putting sheets down and things like that getting your bucket of water ready you don't have to sit here and watch it for the next 20 minutes so do your other stuff round your mix your mix is the very first thing you want to be putting on because it can take you know 30 to 40 minutes to do a decent mix depending on the temperature depending on how wet your sand is how dry your sand is but I'll potter about and then I'll pause the video and then as I'm going to put the water in I'll set the video back up Right, so I'm going to get a bucket of water ready. So use clean water, don't use rainwater because you don't know what's in it. So this is the bit that if you're a beginner, this is what I would recommend you do. Because you don't know how much water to add and you can't, you know, make a mix dry after you've wet it. it it's too wet, you know, it's too sloppy. But there is a way of doing it. So this is the technique I'd recommend until you get used to the amount of water that you can put in the line. So what I'm going to do now is stop the mixer. I'm going to take some of the, the lime sand mix out, say a bucket. And then what I'll do is I'll wet the mix. And if I think the, the mix is too wet, I can add that pre-mixed bucket to it uh, that's dry, so it'll dry the mix out. Um, if you don't understand, just comment and I can talk you through it. Switch your mixer off. In between the legs, put your bucket. And you can either spoon it out or just tip your mixer. Make sure you angle your bucket. on the floor I can add to it if my mix is too wet. So in between this mix doing and me adding water I've already pre-soaked my wall um, so my wall is um, damp at the moment so it's drying out so by the time I come to use this mix on it I've done my mix I've set myself up 
and I've pre-wet my wall so I'll be ready to go. Of experience I know how much water to add. I'm actually going to add too much water. Whatever you do don't stand in front of the mixer because if that splatters it's going to splatter lime and lime burns. This is an NHL 3.5 So I've added too much water, this is what's going to happen, you're going to make a common mistake of adding too much water, so it's going to be too sloppy, it's going to splatter lime, as you can see on the floor it's splattering out, if I was stood in front of that, that would be all over me. And you can tell by the sound there's too much water in it, the way it's slopping about like that. So that's had a good five minutes to mix. See, it's quite sloppy. That's no good for pointing. So this is where your bucket of dry mix comes in handy. So it's too wet in it. Hello Jim, pointing. Speaking. Oh, that's right, yeah. Sorry about that, my phone never stopped. Right, so this mix is too wet. So this is your already pre-mixed lime sand. So what you want to do is just put half of it in. Leave half in the bucket. And then see how that reacts. See how much of that makes it dried out. Because you don't want a sloppy mix. You want it fairly dry that you can work with so it's not going to smear all over the stone it's a, a red sandstone I'm going to be working on <coughs> what you don't want to do is stick your hands in the mixer I'll show you how to use a small a small shovel. This is a dangerous way of doing it because you can break your wrist. So I'm going to show you how to hold the shovel, how to look at the mix um, and inspect it. But you don't grip the shovel. You ha have it spinning in your hand. What is, I'll, I'll do is I'll show you 
what will happen if the shovel catches. Before your shovel goes in, there's a little bit of dirt on that. What I want to do is wash it off. Because we don't want to be putting the dirt inside the mixer. Right, so instead of gripping the shovel, hold it with the palm of your hand and put it in. So if that shovel catches now, it'll slide out my hand. And what you don't want to do is grab the shovel. Switch your mixer off and take your shovel back out. While your shovels, while your mixer's off, just inspect your mix. It's getting there, still a little bit wet. So what I'll do, just put the last remaining half bucket in. Make sure you clean all your buckets out. The bucket that had the lime in, I washed out and used it as the water when I put it in. Right, so I'll show you again with the shovel, how to use the shovel. I don't recommend you do it, but people will get lazy and they will do it anyway. So it's a safer way of doing it. So palm of your hand. normally two bars on it make sure it doesn't hook under your shovel because it will twist over and if you've got a grip of it it's gonna break your wrist so I'll pause the video again let that go for about 10-15 minutes because that's the perfect mix that now and what you do is just take out the mixer what you're going to use because what you can do is, if it's still a bit wet later on or it's dried out, you can add a little bit of water and you can knock it up. If you take it all out and put it in a wheelbarrow, you've got to put it all back in your mixer again. Because it's going to take me about four hours to use this mix. But that's the easiest way to do lime. If you're inexperienced at it, just make sure you take out half your mix a bucket of your mix halfway through mixing so you've had a good 10-15 minutes mixing of your lime and then add your water clean water or you can wash your bucket out that's had the lime in it but don't use rain water or any river water or anything because you don't know what contaminants are in it then after it's mixed up take a bucket out that's dry add your water let that knock up for about 10-15 minutes. If it's still too sloppy, add your bucket, your dry bucket of already pre-mixed lime. You'll know when your mixer is starting to get good because it's going to start sticking to the sides of your mixer. You know that's what, when that's a very good mix. Just spin your mixer halfway and pull everything forward. So I'm going to mix this for another 10, 15, well, I'd say 10 minutes will do. The temperature's right in the air, it's, it's a little bit damp, so that's brilliant, so the pointing won't go off too quick. 
so I'll talk you through on how to do the pointing on another video. Morning. Hi. Yeah. Just let me pause this, you'll be live on YouTube. Yeah. 